I'm going to be taking you with me today. I'm going to be servicing a full day of pest control jobs. We're going to be doing carpenter bee treatments, ant treatments, mice treatments. I've got a big juicy subterranean yellow jacket nest that I'm going to be taking care of. I've got eight jobs today. Right now, our total for the day production is $856. I've also got a one-time general pest control inspection at the end of the day that's likely going to turn into an initial fee anywhere from $180 to $200. So we're likely going to be doing over $1,000 worth of pest control services today. So I'm just going to take you with me and show you exactly how I'm doing every job. I'm going to show you all the fun stuff that I come in contact with because you never really know what we're going to find. My first job didn't take me but a couple minutes. I charged $135 for this. I sprayed the exterior of this person's porch who is having trouble with carpenter bees burrowing into the wood. Then I performed a general pest control maintenance service for $93 on this customer's house. Here I treated the whole home including crawl space, basement, and here you're seeing me spray the exterior perimeter. Most of the time I use the power sprayer on the back of my truck for these general maintenance services. I think they just do a better job applying the product. The only downside is that I have to drag around the hose and roll it up, which can be quite time consuming and tiring. All right, so something interesting I wanted to show you on this house. See all these splats, splatters, yellow splatters on the wall behind me? That's actually from carpenter bees. So there's gonna be a carpenter bee hole somewhere in here. There's gonna be also one, you know, right in here. Looks like there might be another one like right in here. So let's see if I'm right. Basically, just turn the camera and there it is, there's one. There's another really long gallery. There's another burrow right there. Another burrow right there. And yep, another one right there. So those are carpenter bee burrows. It's very important to inspect and treat for carpenter bee burrows during a general pest control service. All right guys, I'm at an outlet mall right now. I'm about to go inside and treat one of the units, one of the stores for ants. I can't tell you exactly what store has the ants because of security reasons, but basically I'll show you what I'm doing um, when I get there, but I'm taking in my b and I'm also taking in a uh, dominant ant bait and this bait station. We're going to set some of those up in the ground next to the outside of the building and that will take care of any ant colonies that are in the area. So we're gonna go in right now. All right, so I followed an ant trail all the way like from the ground to this water fountain area. And it looks like there's a bunch of ants nesting. Where were all those ants? Well, there's one right there, for example. Um, so I think this is the culprit. They're getting in a store right next to this water fountain, just crawling onto the ground. So this is where I'm going to set up the dominant ant bait station. I love using these bait stations because it protects the bait while also allowing the ants to feed on it for multiple days, which is usually what it takes to fully eliminate a colony. This service I charged $175 because it was a one-time initial service. As I am completing these appointments and invoicing, I'm collecting payments through my BrioStack pest control software. I have used BrioStack for four years in my business and it makes everything super easy and streamlined. So after these three stops, we are at $403 dollars for the day so yeah that's all it is it's gonna take a few days for the ants to find it feed on it take it back to the colony but that's going to take care of these ants okay I'm at the next job now I'm doing a mosquito service so uh, it's pretty easy basically I'm just going to fill up the backpack sprayer with my mosquito spray treat the outside perimeter I'll put it on time-lapse and let you watch me do this uh, for this job I'm charging $69 that's normally how much I charge for a mosquito treatment and yeah uh we're gonna do that and then i'll see you at the next stop so i'm at the next house for regular maintenance pest control service but the customer called me whenever i got here and they said that they had seen three snakes under their crawl space in the past two weeks so they wanted me to do something about it and this is what i normally do i offer this to my current customers as an upsell so basically to prevent snakes i'm going to take this product called snake out sprinkle it around the exterior perimeter of the home you sprinkle it around just as if you were applying like a granular bait. It's not quite a granular, it's more of a dust, but this is a cinnamon oil, clove oil, cedar oil. Basically the snakes, when they smell it, they just don't like it. So if a customer asks about snakes, which they do a lot of times, I just tell them, yeah, I can do that. I'll, sp I'll sprinkle this repellent around the exterior perimeter, but it's gonna cost you anywhere from 75 to $125 more 
per service. So it's just a nice upsell I can do sometimes. So you basically just take it and lightly sprinkle around the outside. Just like that. And that's going to provide a nice repelling barrier around this person's house so they don't have any more snakes inside their crawl space. I'm chugging along, boys and girls. I'm about halfway through with my day right now. And it's just really important to drink lots of water and have really good customer service. And besides that, I think pest control is pretty easy. I right, go. so here is the subterranean yellow jacket nest I was telling you about earlier. It's in the ground, as you may suspect subterranean means. So you can see them coming out there. There's just a little hole right next to that pole. There's one landing right there. Some people are pretty terrified of these stinging pests, but not me. The key for treating wasps, yellow jackets, or hornets, or anything with a sting is to get it done quickly and efficiently. Treat the nest in one swoop, then get out ASAP. If All right, so I'm at my next job now. We've got a pretty active, pretty large bald face hornet nest right up there. Big boy, you can see the wasps on the top of it protecting the nest. There's the entrance on the bottom, of course. So I'm gonna spray it, knock it down. And then I'm also doing a general pest control exterior service. This was the house I was telling you that I was doing an inspection first. So we are going to do like the full general pest spray, but I'm going to knock this wasp nest down first. At this point here, after I complete this service, I will have done my seventh job for the day totaling $787. On an initial service like this, I usually charge anywhere from $175 to $215, depending on the size of the home and what's going on. I've also started offering one-time spot treatments for yellow jacket, hornets, and wasp nests like this because a lot of customers are calling me this time of year wanting just a small, quick, treatment done and they don't want their whole house sprayed or they don't want an annual service. They just want to get rid of this wasp nest that's hanging on their deck. So I've been charging $125 for services like this. It's the same with the last one. A lot of people get freaked out about hornets and wasp nests, but if you get in there, treat it quickly and get out, then it's really pretty simple. Um, most of them are dead. So this one's the queen right here. She's the queen? That's the biggest one. She's much bigger than the others. So she always stays inside? Yep, she was inside. So all other bees come and feed her? Yes, and that's a worker right there. Worker? Yep. So they only chew? See, this one's bigger. Yeah. So yeah. they only chew? Oh, no, no, there's a bunch more. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, lots more. So... Look at the nature, like... Here's the nest. I mean, such good work they do. Oh, it's amazing, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's amazing. Wow, I'm yeah. so sorry we have to kill them. Yeah, yeah. Can we just get moved? Like, could we run them down the driveway or something in a bag? Um, once or they start their that... nest, it's too late. Oh. They're not like honeybees or anything. Oh. Yeah. But look, it's a piece of beauty. That is so amazing. Yeah. And are those all eggs in there? Yep, so oh. those are the... Wow. Wow. Uh, these are the adults, the pupa are coming out. Oh my gosh. And then the larvae are those little worms that are wiggling. Oh my gosh. And then there's eggs inside some of these outside ones, that inside is ones. Wild. They reuse the same. So that's the larva. Why do they like um like houses? I mean, if they there are all those trees out there. I have no <laughs> idea why they managed to Good do question. this. Good question. Had they yeah. done it on trees, yeah. we would not even bother. Yeah. <laughs> Here, see, guests gonna keep coming in and out. I hate to do this, but well, no, I mean, what are you gonna You don't want someone to get stung by the end of the summer. They will get about this big around, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's, that's what, why it's that's good to grant it now, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's what our wow. and they keep multiplying, and <laughs> yeah, exponential growth, exponential oh, growth. Yeah, yep. it's not a nine month thing for them, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So this last house called because they were seeing tons and tons of spiders around the outside of their house. These spiders were also getting inside and they were not kidding. As I was spraying around the exterior perimeter, there were tons and tons of baby wolf spiders, baby grass spiders, 
garden spiders just crawling all over the house, on the house, in the landscaping. So the first thing I did, I always do this first, I walked around the exterior perimeter, swept down the spider webs with web out on the brush on the end of my extension pole. This is really important to do around the front door, around the back door, around porches, around windows and doors. This makes a big difference for the customer's visual appeal. And then I sprayed around the exterior perimeter, put out some nine band granules and that's gonna do it. Uh, the customer did not want me to spray inside, which is very, very fine with me and it happens all the time. So yeah, this was the last service of the day. Um, $150 for this service and my grand total production for the day ended up being $996. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you again very, very soon. Peace.